Welcome. This is lesson 3.1, the gem studio. We are going to go over to jewelry tools. And the gem studio is the very first uh, in the second section right over here. When we click on gem studio, we get the studio right up front over here. And what I want you to notice here is that we have not only the diamond, uh, the round diamond, we also have many different cuts. So we can choose from different ones. We're going to explore a few of these uh, in this video. Uh, first, let's, let's stay with the round to look at the basics. Uh, uh, we can go over here and change the size. We can do it by carat size, by the the value, carry value of the stone, or we can go by the diameter. If we know a specific diameter of the stone, we go ahead and type it. So for example, I can go over here and say this is going to be a 0.2 millimeter uh, stone, a very tiny little stone, you know, a 0.5 millimeter stone. These are like little tiny ones. Or I can go over here and say I want a three quarter 0.75 carat stone. And that changes it. Notice that it's now 5.9 millimeters in diameter. Now, once we have determined the size of our stone, you know, uh, we can go over here and decide how we want to place it into our project. Uh, we can go over here to place it directly in a specific place. Uh, this could be anywhere on the screen. We just click wherever we want the stone. Or we can also type in a coordinate. Take a look, for example, if we click right down, right here now, we can go anywhere over here. Let me maximize the perspective. And now I can go anywhere. And if I turn on snap, I can also snap to the intersections of the grid, you know, anywhere I want. So I'm gonna place one there. I'm gonna place another one here. Very simple. I can hit enter if I now want to change anything. Like for example, maybe I wanna change. I, now I wanna place, uh, maybe uh, a marquee. So I click on that, and then I can change the, the, the carrot size. Maybe this is gonna be a half carrot. I go over here and click again, and place it wherever I find necessary to place these marquees. Very simple. We hit enter when we're done. Now we're back over here. Notice that we don't click OK until we're done inserting stones. As long as we're inserting stones, we just pick the different options. Now I'm going to change maybe to, uh, uh, let's go with, let me, let me put the round one back on. And I'm going to pick maybe 0 0.02 for a two-pointer stone. And this time, instead of inserting it someplace in the screen, I'm going to place it on the surface. So I'm going to click this icon. Yes, let's move this into the view here. And I can choose this surface and notice that now I'm, I'm inserting. I'm, I'm, I'm right normal to that surface anywhere I go. So I can start clicking wherever I want to place, you know, my stones. If I want to change the size, all I have to do is hit enter, go back over here and maybe make, make five pointers get back into the placement uh, option pick the surface again and notice now i have a bigger stone enter now i'm going to change the stone maybe now i want to place maybe a princess same uh same 0.5 so i can go over here pick the surface again and now notice I'm placing, inserting princess cuts. Based on the surface topology. Now I can go back over here, hit enter, and decide that I'm going to place maybe some trilliums. But this time I want to place them on points. So I can pick the points where I want those trilliums to be, maybe these points that I have selected. I hit enter, and the trilliums show up at those points. Very simple, right? And we can also 
insert by points on surface, you know, by, with curves. And if we ever place a stone and it ends up being in the wrong direction, we can click on the flip option to flip it to the correct direction. Now notice that at the bottom it gives us a list of all the stones that we've been inserting. So it's very easy to go in there and delete or invert their direction or select it to do anything specific to that one stone. I'm going to click OK now. And all our stones are now inserted. I can now go to the browser. And notice that all the stones that I've placed are all labeled over here by different sizes. They're all in categories by their size. And I can choose any one of these stones. Let me go for one of the large ones, uh, which is only two of them there. I can click here. Notice that that stone has been selected. Now I can decide to edit that stone. And I can choose. Maybe I want to change the, the, the type of stone that it is. Maybe I want to change it to, uh, to this one. And maybe I want to change the carrot to, uh, to uh, point, uh, point 0.5. And once I'm happy with that, I can click Update. And that stone has now been changed to the new, uh, the new options. So it makes it very easy to add all kinds of different stones. And uh, they are all remain with the fleximetric capability. So we can come back in here and edit any of these stones as necessary.